Sabrina here. So you know that I have been madly in love with the colored eyeliners here lately. I can't seem to get enough. Well, I discovered this new technique called ombre eyeliner. Oh, hello! Great thing about this look is that it's perfect for summer, especially if you don't want to wear a lot of product on your eyes, but you still want a pop of color there. And the best part, I'm using Inglot gel eyeliners, which in my opinion are the best gel eyeliners out there. They will not budge, they will not smudge, they will not move on you in any kind of condition that you may run into this year. So let me show you the entire look. You're gonna love it. To start this look, I'm first applying a base color and this gives me a smooth slate to work from. I'm using a shade that matches my skin tone. This is Max Blanc Type. First Inglot Gel Eyeliner is number 86. This is a deep, dark, gorgeous green, and I'm applying this in a winged shape on the outer half of the upper lash line. For the duration of this video, I am using the winged eyeliner brush from Sigma. This is their number E06. It is quite possibly the best I have ever found for creating that winged look very easily, and it's also one of the best brushes I've ever used for applying gel eyeliner in general. I am applying these lines rather thickly simply because this is the focus of the look and I really want it to stand out. Then I'm taking number 85. This is a bright neon green. Oh, such a pretty color. I'm applying this on the inner half of the upper lash line. And the way that I blended these two colors together when they meet in the middle of the lid is I took a small amount of the light green and applied it over where it met the dark green. And then I wiped the brush on a napkin that I had on my makeup table. And I went back and lightly dabbed between the two until they blended. When you're blending gel eyeliners together, the less you have on your brush, the better your blending will be. And to add some fun in the look, I went back with the Makeup Geek Bent Eyeliner Brush and applied two tiny dots on the end of the wing. And of course, this step is completely optional. Then I'm taking number 84, this beautiful bright yellow, and I'm applying this onto the waterline. If you have been looking for a product to use on the waterline that is not gonna run or smudge at all throughout the day, the Inglot Gel Eyeliners are perfect, especially if you wear contact lenses. They won't budge a bit. I also applied a little bit of this into the inner corner of the eye to create more of that cat eye shape and brought it up into the light green on the inner corner also. And I blended those two colors together the same way that I had blended the light green into the dark green, applied a little bit of yellow there, went back, wiped the brush, and then blended them together until they melted into one another. For this look, I also wanted to connect the outer wing to the lower lash line. So I went back with more of that dark green gel eyeliner and lined the entire length of the lower lash line. And doing this also makes that yellow on the waterline pop even more. This look is really bright on its own, but I did want subtle definition in my crease to bring my eyes more forward. So I went back with three MAC eyeshadows, Malt, Coquette and Bottle Green and applied them into the outer crease of my eye to add some definition there. And to apply these shades, I'm using a brush from Wet n Wild. For my lashes, I'm applying a pair from InkyMinky.com. These are in the style Icing on the Cake, and oh, are they ever. I'm also applying a black mascara onto my lower lashes. This is one that I have really been loving. It's the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant one. And to save on time, I'm skipping straight to the blush. If you would like to know what I used on my face, I will have everything listed for you below. I'm applying a warm peachy blush onto the apples of the cheeks, and I'm also mimicking that same color in the lipstick. I believe this is Max Razzle Dazzle, something like that. I love pairing up peachy colors with green eyes. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from Yolz Truly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And the great thing about this kind of a look, I'm losing myself over here. Hi, gorgeous, Sabrina here. I'm gonna fall out of this thing before this video is over.